Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Ephesians 520. Giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So yeah, it's Thanksgiving week. Um, this is definitely not a Thanksgiving week that I would have planned <laughs> but uh, yeah so all right um we're gonna cover just a few things today it's gonna be really short I hope um, so you know I was in a wreck um, and we're gonna get into that here in just a second uh, I'm about to lose a stitch sorry so the only crochet or sewing that I have been doing is this and I've gotten to the, so I was on the ribbed I started it then I ripped it out and because I saw this done so I have the rib part done and then I still have ends to weave in and I have one end in here to weave in and now I'm to the top where it starts to split I've done the increases and pretty much there's the other end I have to weave in, but I've gotten this far, and it will, it, it's going to be real loose. It goes down to the edge of the thing, and then it comes back up as a hood. Um, so, yeah, it's not even halfway there. Um, do have a couple of ends to weave in, and pretty much I've got more than enough yarn to do it, so that is what I've been working on um haven't been doing any sewing it is all I can do to sit here uh, so you know that last Tuesday um I was in a wreck it's been exactly one week um and what I wasn't prepared when I told y'all you know yes I had a wreck blah 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 um is how many questions were going to be in my email which is great so I'm going to cover all of them I think I have a little list here um, and what surprised me is not so much what happened as far as how the wreck happened but how I was doing um, some of you have have experienced this before some of you have not um, so the only injuries that I have from the wreck is bruising. Now, that being said, if I had to guess from my knees to here, 75% of all of that is bruised. Um, the hardest part, and you can tell I get sore, and have to juggle and it hurts but it's okay uh, I'm alive so I'm good I've never slammed into a brick wall doing you know 65 70 miles an hour before um, it wasn't a brick wall it was a trailer anyway uh, so let's cover this in two parts first how my body reacted and how I'm doing and then I'll tell you what actually happened in the wreck um and then i'll let you know what's going on so far with it because honestly that's the only crochet i've done it hurts to move i am struggling to get through the day at work because i have to be up and moving around um i'm getting everybody else to do my lifting for me i feel bad but okay so when i say 75 percent from here down i have this side right here is where the seat belt goes across okay and then the lap belt that is where the most bruising is and when I say most I mean swollen I have a whelp where the belt was across and I am 50 shades of I'm every color of the rainbow right now when it first happened um, that day I turned red and blue by the second day I was totally black the bruise was just black and it started 
um, halfway around my, it never bruised around my spine, okay, but it did, you know, my derriere cheek and high hip had it all the way around the front, um, and so, uh, the bruising is not, so I took a picture just for color, and I'm not going to tell you where this one was at, um, but, and I don't know if you can see that very well, I'll try and split it and put that photo in right here, okay? So that is the average color. It is not first, it's not second. I have bruises, like I said, um, right here is one, um, and it goes all the way down my side and intersects with this one from my navel down to my knees it's pretty much all bruised um lower than my knees i have more other bruises where the dashboard hit so i am pretty sore um and when i say that i have you know it here's the things that all this leads to okay is I am bruised and sore, but it is a sore beyond anything you can imagine. It is burning. It is itching. It is, and you can't itch anything because it'll set the bruise to burning again, and it'll make the bruise hurt, and so um, my tailbone is super sore. Um, so sitting, standing, anything with that, laying down, <laughs> um, my chest right here is sore my arm right up here is sore um and of course across my stomach is super sore so the problems that that leads to is the fact that standing up sitting down it, it's a transition period i can sit here okay until my tailbone goes to hurting then in getting up i use all the other muscles um, using the restroom that is it hurts so bad to use because those are your muscles right here that I can hear my uh, heartbeat in my ears okay so it just makes you it just hurts I'm not even gonna pretend it, it's been a week and I am the bruising has gone from a deep deep purple some of them are now reds yellows greens browns uh, i still have some blacks and some blues uh so yeah i mean i'm not healing fast but hey i'm healing and i am thankful for that so um ibuprofen i keep it in me all the time um, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I learned my lesson yesterday because I didn't take any ibuprofen or pain reliever. And by the time I got home from work, I could barely walk. Um, it just, I hurt everywhere. Now, the pain is getting less and less. I can sit for longer times. I can stand for longer times. Um, so, yeah, it, it's getting better, but it still hurts. So yeah there's that um with that being said the only thing i did y'all know i was off last week um i missed work tuesday after the wreck and then wednesday and thursday i didn't go friday i went for part of a day um then saturday and sunday i literally laid around and did nothing because i was so sore now sunday i did get up and i went and go got groceries because I refuse to be the reason that my kids are not going to have Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, so Thanksgiving is tomorrow. And we're actually doing it Sunday. Because everybody's got places to go. And, and other people that expect them to be at their house. And they're not lenient about it. You know, they're like, oh no, you have to come. So, we're going to do it Sunday. And I refuse to not have a turkey 
not have now am i baking a whole lot no i am making two pies and i'm actually going to make one tomorrow thursday think actually thanksgiving and that's roommate uh it's roommate's favorite kind of pie so we're going to make that and then um saturday i'm going to make the other pie and then i'm going to cook a turkey i'm doing mashed potatoes and gravy corn rolls stuffing and deviled eggs um so that is the extent of it i'm not doing a bunch of i used to do pumpkin pie now i did get some cheese so we can cut it up and do cheese and crackers um we all like to munch on that and so i'll slice that up uh but i'm not doing veggie tray meat and cheese tray uh i'm not doing banana bread pumpkin bread which i really i really like those things but i just can't see myself doing all that baking in the kitchen it just it hurts okay so i will tell you that one of the major things that hurts the most is if you cough sneeze or laugh oh that will send you to crying so fast <laughs> i'm just saying sneezing hurts the worst because it it jerks you know coughing you kind of can feel it come and put your hand across your stomach and you know but sneezing is just bam there it is and that one hurts so um I did get word yesterday that my car is totaled. No surprise. I drive a very small car. Um, it was a Hyundai Accent. I will tell you that the safety on that thing is amazing. Okay. Because airbags came out and I'm only bruised. And literally I went from... So what happened is that... There is a section of highway where it goes down from 70 miles an hour down to 65. I could see that there was a truck turning into a car dealership. And it's a truck with a car hauler on it. And a car that they're hauling in there. Um, so, uh, when I went to decrease my speed and turn off the cruise control, it didn't disengage. So, I'm guessing I had 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds to figure out what to do. Um, there was cars to my left in the fast lane. I was here. He was there. I could not get the car to slow down or stop. or So, yeah, I smashed into the back of it and it spun me around across traffic and into the center medium um when you see it coming i mean you just everything in your body tenses up which does not help okay because it makes it worse <laughs> i've come to the conclusion that tensing up in high stress situations makes it worse <laughs> so um yeah that didn't help made me very stiff um uh, but I, you know here's the thing um i learned a few things airbags when they deploy um they smoke and they stink no your car is not on fire and that's what i thought as i was like, oh my god there's smoke everywhere no it, it's the chemicals that make it you know not saying that your car won't burst into flames just saying mine didn't i just panicked um my phone was in my purse, but my purse was not strapped down. It was just laying on the passenger seat. That's how I get in as I lay it on the passenger seat. I drive to the, get the dogs. I let them out. I go, you know, so my car, my purse, be able to find your phone. Um, I'm not saying be on your phone and I'm not saying be distracted, but nothing stays where it was when you got in the car. So yes i had my purse but i had to find my purse to find my phone yeah so i couldn't call for help because i couldn't find my phone <laughs> I, it was in my purse i found my purse which it was thrown um i didn't have windows down or anything so it was thrown there in the 
car, but it was up underneath the edge of the seat and stuff. And so, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, so I learned that. And then my guardian, I learned that my guardian angels were looking out for me because that could have been a whole lot worse. I could have been hit by other oncoming traffic. Um, I could have been, you know, so many things happen. Um, yes, I'm sore. Yes, we're still going to have Thanksgiving and we are thankful that everything is working out. Yes, my car is totaled. Um, yes, I am very black and blue. But other than that, I think I'm good. So, um, I do thank y'all, everyone that has emailed me asking, you know, what happened? Are you okay? How sore are you? Um, do you need anything? I mean, I have gotten tons of emails about that. And surprisingly, I tried to answer all of them. Just saying. So, uh, if I missed your email, I apologize. I was also getting a lot of spam because Black Friday specials. Yeah, I, I don't shop, but I get a lot of spam. So, hopefully, if you sent me an email and you did not get a personal reply, you let me know. And I will talk to you. So, you guys have a great Thanksgiving. I know I have a lot to be thankful for. Um, I pray that each of you are just as blessed. I will talk to you later. And thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.